Charleston White has had another crazy, insane rant saying death to the Bloods, Crips, and GDs, oh, and BDs, and he also disrespected Nipsey Hussle, King Von, and Draco the Ruler. Death to all Crips and Bloods. Death to all GDs and BDs. May they all die like King Von. May they all die like Draco the Ruler. May they all die like Nipsey Hussle. In vain. Now go show what we got. Be a gang banger. Charleston White completely violated the Bloods, Crips, GDs, and BDs. And he violated Nipsey, Draco, the Ruler, and King Vaughn. Now, the thing about this situation is this. I completely understand why Charleston White is anti-gang, and I completely understand why he believes it is important for black men to be ready to go to war for our community. Now, if you look at all throughout human history, all throughout the history of men, when one man has a vision for his nation and another man has a completely different vision, sometimes warfare and coming to blows is the only way to solve that. I mean, you look at Caesar and Pompey, two different men with two different visions for Rome, two different men with two different ideas of how Rome should be. One man won, the other man lost. The reality of the situation is gangsters and gang sympathizers have had the community in their grasp for 30 years straight and have led the community deeper into poverty, deeper into death and deeper into chaos. And they don't seem to be willing to give that up willingly. So I completely understand why Charleston White is saying war to gangs. However, this is where I disagree with Charleston White. There is absolutely nothing to gain from saying fuck Nipsey Hussle, fuck King Von, fuck Draco the Ruler. There is absolutely nothing to gain from slandering these men. King Von has paid his dues in death. All of the crime and chaos and destruction he inflicted on the black community, he paid for it in death. Nipsey Hussle paid for his mistakes in death. Nipsey Hussle did what he had to do for his own community. He was a philanthropist. He invested in his community. He took care of Crenshaw and Slauson. Honor to him, praise to him, and respect to him. I'm not sure about Draco the Ruler's story. Won't speak ill on him. He has already passed. He's already dead. That is where I draw the line is disrespecting the dead. But some people were upset with the fact that Charleston was just anti-gang in general. Somebody said, wait, y'all defending what he's saying right now? This app is insane. The American flag and Trump shit in the background is very telling. It's not just gangs he hates, I'll tell you that much. So this lady is insinuating that Charleston White hates black people because of the Trump flag and blah, blah, blah. But if there's one thing about Charleston White that you cannot deny is Charleston White is not an Uncle Tom. He's not a Candace Owens. He's not a Larry Elder. He's not a Thomas Sowell. Charleston White is a black conservative who is for the black community. You won't find him on Fox News. You won't find him on the Daily Wire. Charleston White is for us and by us. Regardless of the absolute insanity that Charleston White says, Charleston White is for us and by us. He is a Trump supporter, but his focus has always been fixated and fixed on the black American community. So, one thing that stood out from this comment was hilarious. Wait, y'all defending what he's saying right now? Here's the thing. No one has acknowledged the fact that gangs are dangerous. Some people have, but the majority of the people that are angry at Charleston don't seem to be capable of separating the two things that he said. You can be upset with Charleston disrespecting the dead and simultaneously agree with the fact that gangs need to be done away with, even if it takes a civil war in the black community to do so. Charleston White clearly had a 50-50 on this one. Clear 50-50. The inability of people to acknowledge the fact that gangs have absolutely zero positive influence on the community is absolutely beyond me. And I can't understand why anybody would sit there and persist in this argument that somehow or another there is some sort of argument to protect gangs. Now, someone else says, I mean, you can do a bit of both. Nothing wrong with saying fuck those who terrorize the community. Someone responded saying, they don't all, all, not all gangs terrorize the community. Now, I don't know what gangs he might be talking about. He could be talking about the LGBTQ gang, the Alphabet gang. 
I don't know what gang he's referring to, the Mickey Mouse gang. I don't know what gang in his mind he's got going on. But if we're talking about gang gangs, there is not one of those gangs that does not literally participate in the destruction of the black community. It's not even a debate. For people to go that far as to say, not all gangs are disrespecting the community. Nigga, you're either in a gang or a fucking treehouse clubhouse group of friends. If you're a part of a little organization of friends and y'all throw up gang signs and y'all don't commit no crime, you're not in a gang, you're in a clique. You're in a clique of dudes who just hang out. That's not a gang, that's just a group of friends. Clear difference, okay? Y'all will go so far to protect these gangs. And then sit there and talk about Black Lives Matter or Black Women Matter. My favorite line from y'all is Black women are the most unprotected women on the planet, which is very true. How is it that y'all can sit there and talk about how the Black woman is the most unprotected woman on the planet, but then get mad when a Black man critiques and criticizes the Black men who make the Black woman the most unprotected woman on the planet these niggas sit there and say i shot at his mommy he no longer mentioned me a black woman's house is getting shot up and you niggas want to bop your fucking head and turn up and go crazy at this song of a black woman's house getting shot the fuck up y'all want to turn up to that song while simultaneously talking about how dare you disrespect black women and black women's lives matter and da 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 y'all talking about the black woman's life mattering but you champion rappers who violate black women's dead children in songs and talk about shooting up black women's house make it make sense it doesn't make sense at all someone else said this is the most uncle ruckus racist ass shit i've ever seen now what's crazy is Gangs have honestly killed more black people than the Ku Klux Klan. It's not even a matter of debate. It's just a fact. Gangs have taken enough black lives to at this point, each and every single one of them should be promoted to Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. The Ku Klux Klan is honestly, at this point, y'all niggas is operating off participation trophies and points. Y'all don't kill no niggas. Y'all don't put up no real points. Every member of the Ku Klux Klan needs to get kicked out and replaced by Bloods and Crips. Because y'all ain't, y'all ain't hating hard enough. Y'all clearly don't hate blacks hard enough. Let the Bloods and the Crips take over because y'all ain't putting in enough work. All the Ku Klux Klan chapters make way for the GDs and the BDs because these niggas is here to stay. Y'all don't kill enough black people in comparison to them. It's funny how these gangs can kill scores and scores of black people every decade, every year. And that's not racist. These gangs have yet to kill George Zimmerman. They've yet to kill any bl- any any cop that unjustly killed a black person, either suspected or proven. They've yet to kill any of those people. And yet y'all don't consider that racist. You don't consider it racist that these gangs have only killed blacks for uh, this whole time. Y'all don't find that racist, but you find it racist when a black man says death to the bloods and the crips, death to the GDs and the BDs, Y'all perceive that as racist and anti-black, but you don't perceive the GDs and BDs and Bloods and Crips. You don't perceive their self-inflicted genocide as anti-black. Make it make sense, bro. Like, make it make sense. Like, make it all add up for me, please. Somebody make the math add up. How is it that killing yourself, killing your own people on a mass scale is cool and accepted? And that's what's up. But if you criticize it and say, we're going to put a we're going to put a stop to the niggas that kill in our community. That's racist. You can't make this shit up. You can't make it up. Yo, I'm going to keep it 100. I've said this before and I've never said it on camera, but I'm going to say it now. People don't get mad at me for saying this. All y'all black folks in the community who want to protect gangs and love gangs, y'all need to segregate and you need your own community and you need to go somewhere the fuck else where everybody can observe you from a distance. Y'all don't get to have any cops. Y'all niggas call 911, that's a felony. You cannot call the police. Y'all need to go somewhere else, have your own community of gangs, no police, maybe some EMTs and firefighters, no telling, no calling the police, no none of that. Y'all can have your gangs, your gangster rappers, no law enforcement, no laws, no nothing. 
since gangs are so great and amazing that's what y'all gonna be stuck with all the gangs are gonna be pushed into that area with y'all and that's what y'all gonna do and y'all gonna live there and show the world how great gangs are y'all get to prove not only them white folks who hate the gangs wrong you get to prove all the coons and uncle toms wrong about gangs y'all don't want to do that shit come on y'all don't want to do that get the fuck out of here so in in totality bro charleston white was tripping violating nipsey Drakeo, and vaughn however going to war with gangs i can never be upset with that and at the end of the day i gotta back charleston on that one half of this video but that nigga was wild and let's keep it a hundred i'm out